Hey, welcome to uh, another video of command block tutorials. So, um, damn, I keep on saying so, um, I'm sorry. Alright, so I watched my previous video and I realized that it's actually really long for what it's supposed to do. So I want to speed this up. So tilde, um, this is a set block command and so what this does is it it's kind of self-explanatory. It's self it sets blocks and so what you have is tilde this is the coordinates x y and z so tilde means relative so relative nothing relative one and relative nothing and so this is set block um, minecraft colon sand so this sets a sand block on top of the command block so you can change whatever coordinates you want so this is um, 107 basically you just set xyz um, so yeah, this is you can. I'm pretty sure you can also do uh, do this. Yeah, you can use uh, data values, but I, I think they're taking that out eventually. So I guess you should probably memorize the all the new names. Okay, so um, I'm in MC Edit, and so after um, oh, what is this? After I don't know, like a few days, I managed to um, kind of replicate the Statue of Liberty a bit, like kind of looks like it I guess no I'm joking that's <laughs> dry humor or whatever and so um, this is um, this is a structure it looks decent <laughs> it's it's it is what it is so um the set blocks filter is kind of self-explanatory you set it you put the coordinates so I'm gonna show you a way to simplify setting large structures so basically what you have what I'm using right now is um Texel Elf's place blocks filter right here, and so basically, um, it just you just select the area you want. This is, yeah, this is, you select the area you want, and then it turns it into command blocks. So place blocks in selection. That's what I'm doing. So basically, it just like turns everything you have in the selection into command block coordinates and command block data and all that crap. And then it ignores this because it ignores the stone and whatever because it's place blocks and um, selection you have replace so uh, in uh, set blocks you have three options you have replace which uh, replaces the blocks that you that you uh, that that are you know previously in the area that you're trying to spawn your structure you have keep which basically I'm pretty sure it replaces only the air and destroy which basically it's the same thing as replace but if you have like a chest or something or you have any other block it just does that destroy animation it makes that noise and so um so I'm gonna do replace because that's honestly the simplest and uh, the following two operations are uh, valid in selection operating yeah so you can ignore air blocks I'm not gonna do that well ignore air blocks basically just means I ignore all the air blocks there and don't make command blocks for those air blocks so I'm gonna ignore that include tile NB tile entity nbt data that means uh, if you have chests or anything or uh, dispensers whatever any th uh, tile entities that contain additional information it spawns them with whatever information it has so if you have like a chest a uh, chest has tile entity data or whatever nbt data and because a chest has items in it and you need data for that and so if you want to spawn a chest with custom items you select that so I'm gonna write filter right here um, it creates a schematic so I'm just gonna type um, uh, statue of liberty because that's what it is I don't know what that meant save and then basically what you have right now is a uh, if I import that is uh, a stack of command blocks that that basically um, that, that spawn that statue of liberty so basically you just have to wire it up so I'm gonna import and then this spawns that and so I'm gonna go back into Minecraft and I'm okay gonna show so you. Um, I broke that structure and I wired it kind of it's not the best wiring but uh my Skype keeps on ringing I'm sorry and so basically this is just this is um <laughs> yeah this is all the wiring you need but I guess you're gonna need some repeaters too and so basically what this does is these are all the command blocks needed to spawn that thing and so it, the filter does it for you um, Texelov does an amazing job of making filters so you should check him out but you probably know him 
Because I'm not famous, and if you found me, then you probably found a crap load of people. And so I'm gonna just demonstrate. I wanna put a, some lapis crap here, just to demonstrate that it can replace blocks. So I'm just gonna, yeah. See, so it replaced that. If you really wanna see it for yourself, then uh, yeah, then download the filter and crap and run it. So, wow. Uh, yeah, it uh, it does that. And so to delete it, you do the same thing. You select that, and then you you select uh, a bunch of air. Well, yeah, but you basically delete. You break this all. You go into MC Edit, and then select the area around it, and make sure that's all air, and then run the filter again. And so what this can do, um, all this is uh, you can instead of this, you know, you can. Uh huh. Okay, so basically you can change that um change <laughs> the command blocks to spawn air instead of those blocks so that it's so that it deletes the structure. So you can use set block to spawn air and so it deletes structure and then you can spawn it again. So yeah. Alright, I decided to follow up from what I talked about earlier about deleting because it was honestly not the clearest explanation. So zero is uh, the data value for air. So air means nothing's there. So basically, you're deleting blocks. Zero. And then so I'm just gonna do this part first. So zero. And so what this does is del this probably deletes the bottom block. See, yeah. Here we go. So that's gone. Whoa. And so um, all this crap, you know. You can you can do the same thing for all of that, but I suggest using the filter. I will link a uh, link Texel Elf's tutorial video. He does a tutorial kind of well. He yeah he does in the in the description. He makes amazing videos. So yeah, that's about wraps it up for that. Fuck, that about wraps it up for today. So um, that's uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'm really not that good at this video stuff, and so like just comment what you want me to improve on. So. Thank you. Bye.